Niche Farmers is proudly brought to you by Lafeld Agrochem. Together cultivating your success. I hope you're ready because over the next half an hour or so, we're going to bring you your weekly dose of truly uplifting and potentially life-changing content. Hello, I'm Wilson being bossy. And I'm Roseanne McKenzie. Welcome to The Movement. Welcome to Niche Farmers. In this episode of Niche Farmers. Ever considered farming with rabbits? We introduce niche farmer and trainer, Daisy Moleko. Then we travel to Rapotokwane, where we meet commercial vegetable farmer, Philippine Pila. Also, watch out for info on AgriSkills' fantastic one-day training courses. Another week has flown by, and that's a good thing because we have so much to share, Roseanne. That's right, Wilson. And as the niche farmers movement gains momentum all over the country, we are inundated with success stories of people setting examples of how to turn adversity into opportunity. Correct. And that's why we always say, where there's a will, there's a way. Just start. That seems to be what every single farmer we speak to says just start absolutely and it's not always about size after all not all products require large portions of land especially niche farming products very very true that roseanne just ask daisy moleko the co-founder of mpb's rabbitry and take note they travel everywhere for training and starting up of rabbit farms have a look i started rabbit farming 21 years ago and I had some health issues that I was uh, supposed to deal with. So I, I started because I wanted to take care of my health. Rabbit farming is profitable like any other uh, commodity, but you need to not to start too small and expect millions. Our training takes a week and up to a month, it depends on the pace of a person. So it's easy for people to learn it online. And then the other thing is that when they finish with the course, they do practicals at their own farms or in their own spaces. Like where we are now, it's a backyard. And then we, we advise people to start small. People, they are now changing into eating the white meat, which is the rabbit meat. So it's better if they go for rabbit meat. So we introduce more customers on, on the meat part. And the thing is, we started with 0.1% on the market share. Now we are sitting at 30% uh, of the market share with chicken. So it's moving, although what we do is we push a lot of marketing and a lot of tasting. Uh, it takes a lot of time and a lot of meat because also we're using our own meat. My daughter, she's a rep chef. I call them rep chefs because they, they deal with rabbit meat, but the recipe's in the cookbook. So me and her, we co-authors, so she's got her own recipes, I've got my own recipes using the rabbit meat. I would love to see more of young people starting rabbit farming, as I've introduced it to my children. So other young people, they must do it as well. And then, introduce it to other young people because this is a good commodity to farm with. The future is, I don't know if I dream big or I dream too much, but I would love to see rabbit farming feeding about one million people in my space of work. We have a very special guest in the studio, mom and daughter. Lunch or dinner is served. What's on the menu? Hello, uh, we have rabbit liver rabbit vors and rabbit sausages. It looks yummy. Very mm. yummy. <laughs> <laughs> Please enjoy and tell me what you think. I think I'm gonna go in for some rabbit sausage. It looks delicious. Bon appetit. Thank you. <laughs> Daisy, we, while I get chewing, please tell us why you decided to start working and farming with rabbits. Uh, it's because of the health benefits, I will say because rabbit meat is very lean meat and full of proteins and vitamins, you know. It has omega-3 as well. And I want to educate other people to eat rabbit meat. Mm. Mm. That is so tasty. Thank so you. Mm. Yeah, Sister Daisy, how mm. long does it take mm. 
to breed a rabbit? A rabbit. Okay, it becomes pregnant for 31 days and then it gives birth after 31 days and then two months we prepare it for slaughter. Daisy, your company MP Biz aims to educate and empower and just give people opportunity within the rabbit farming business. How do you plan to do this? Okay, we're planning to do this in terms of training the farmers. We have an, an online training platform where we train them. And then we also do one-on-one -on -one because there's demagogues in the rural area. They will love to see me and sit down with me and train them. We also do that. And then most of the people, they prefer the online one because it reaches up to Africa. Uh, Sister Daisy, I have to ask you this. Uh, have you met people who find it strange that some among us eat rabbit meat? And are uh, rabbits not considered pets anyway? Mm. <laughs> yeah, we get a lot of those. They say it's a pet. And then I will say to them, even chicken is my pet and you're eating yeah. it, you know. So I start to educate and we start the conversation to say, no, rabbit is not a pet, always not a pet. And there's a difference between the one that we caged and the pets because people, they don't know. And there's also the yeah. free range. So the ones that we caged here, it's for commercial and for consumption, human consumption. Uh -huh. mm. I've been educated as well. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> so I've just had some very yummy rabbit sausage, but you've got a whole cookbook, cookbook here yes. of ideas and ways that people can prepare rabbit. Tell us about the idea that initiated this the, cookbook. Okay, when we sell the meat, People will, the raw meat, people will love to know how to cook the meat. Mm -hmm. And then I will say, okay, I will send a recipe and then we'll sit and, uh, down in Le Pabalo and say, you know what, we're giving people a lot of recipes. Why can't we put them in a cookbook mm. and sell and start making money? So there's all different offshoots of your business. You've got the actual one-on-one -on -one courses, you've got the online courses, you've got the cookbook. cookbook. And it's just amazing how many different avenues there are to just rabbit farming. Sounds very exotic, rebellious cookbook, eh? Yes. <laughs> Daisy, <laughs> very, very exotic. Thank you. It's part of the taste, right? Yes, yes, it's part of the taste. And the name rebellious was not to put, to, to do away with the name rabbit. Correct. Because if you say in rabbit, they start to say, you're my pet, you're yes, this, you yes, know? Yes, yes, so yes. I said, okay, let's rebellious it. Because <laughs> it's <laughs> rabbit and it's delicious. <laughs> it's delicious, mm. yes. You, you've yes. done well, Sissy. Congratulations, you so much. very, very happy for you. Thank you so much, I really appreciate it. <laughs> Daisy, we would like to congratulate you on your successful farming project and your successful farming business. Thank so you. we actually have something to give you. Oh. It's a token of appreciation from us to you, Sis Daisy, for okay. feeding the nation. Oh, thank you. So it is a stamp of approval, the niche farmer's stamp of approval oh, wow. from us to you. Thank you. There you have wow. it. Wow. <laughs> approved. Love it. Thank you, I love it. <laughs> Remember, you can find out more about Daisy and her farm on our website and in our wrap articles, and here is how you can get those. Niche Farmers is on every week. Same time, same place. But if a weekly dose of Niche Farmers is just not enough, or you maybe want to watch an episode again, even share the episode with friends and family, you can. In fact, we've also got tons of other great content headed your way, including weekly articles. Not to mention fantastic prizes up for grabs. All you have to do to get in on the action is send us an SMS and follow a few simple steps. Here's how it works. SMS FARM to 32210 and we'll send you a return SMS in no time. Click on the link we're sending you to open the info wrap. Then simply complete the form and submit. That's it. Now you're all set to receive weekly episodes and other great content on your cell phone. Yes, it's that easy. Simply SMS FARM to 32210. Complete the three questions and you get all our content. Plus then you're automatically entered into our competition. Speaking of content, if you're struggling to cover what you owe with what you earn, then you're probably over indebted and in need of a helping hand. DebtSafe is here to empower you to fix your debt. With over 12 years of proven success, DebtSafe has helped over 50,000 South Africans find their footing again. DebtSafe is registered with the NCR and with a nationwide network of expert credit negotiators and attorneys on call 
all ready to assist you. Take control of your debt. Visit debtsafe.co.za today. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. After the break, we travel to Rabutukwane, where we meet commercial vegetable farmer, Philippine Pila. Niche Farmers is proudly brought to you by Lafeld Agrochem. Niche Farmers is proudly brought to you by Lafeld Agrochem. Welcome back. Before we introduce our next farmer, it is our pleasure and privilege to introduce our special guest to you, Noni Mukosi. Noni Mukosi holds an M Agric degree and serves as a board member on both the National Agricultural Marketing Council and African Women's Entrepreneurship Program SA. In addition, Noni was acknowledged as the Gauteng Female Farmer of the Year and the National Commercial Category winner in 2009. Wow, what an incredible CV, and we haven't even scratched the surface yet. Welcome to Niche Farmers, Noni. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure to be here with you. So, Noni, I'm interested in your role as someone who assists, especially black farmers, given the fact that, for the most part, they come from disadvantaged backgrounds. Absolutely. I mean, yes, I would not take myself out of that category because I'm very much one of the farmers mm. that we are trying to assist. And in my role, it is really trying to look at um, facilitating their empowerment and so that we enable them to become um, members of, of the farming community who will be successful. Do you think enough is being done to assist black farmers to overcome these challenges? And what then can be done to ensure that there is greater access for black farmers who want to enter the market? Well, I must admit that a lot is being done uh, by various different role players uh, within the industry, both in the private sector and the public sector. However, it is never enough. What is ever enough? Enough for me will be the day when we can see a, a transition and an integration and normalization of black farmers who are um, farming in a, in, a, in, a, in a commercial way. That then will be, will be, and I don't know if that in itself is ever enough. So I think that, you know, we all have a responsibility and a need to actually assist in the development, the sustainable development of, of black farmers in the industry. It makes perfect sense to me. Now, Sisnoni, let's talk about funding for both training and the acquisition of land. Uh, yes, that is one of the key challenges, and we actually refer to that as a market failure. Um, yes, we need to look at um, funding, access to capital, access to funding for both resources as well as for the training and developments, which is which is more the, 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 the skills and capacity development and creation. Uh, there are parties and partners that actually do assist, that do uh, facilitate that process. However, one of the key challenges is that um, with the with the formal financial um, systems, they don't recognize because uh, farmers don't have um, don't have the the, the, title, the deed to title of the land, which serves as collateral in terms of accessing funding from the formal financial institutions. That in itself is one of the key market failures that we have, mm -hmm. and I think that this is where the government and various different role players are trying to to look at um, the land tenure and property rights. Uh, situation, trying to see if even within the, 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 the traditional land um, environment, are women being empowered? Are they or are they continue to be disempowered? So these are some of the challenges that I think many different role players are actually trying to overcome. So there are many challenges that we still need to unlock, that we still need to address in a fair and equitable manner so that women, as, as, as you know, in particular, become empowered in terms of access to resources, access to capital, access to, to knowledge, skills, information to enable them to succeed. Noni, so let's say you're an aspiring young black farmer watching this episode. What would be your message to them? What kind of advice would you give them in terms of the next steps to take to make farming a career? Um, farming is, has its challenges and I think we all know what those are. However, I think that we are resilient. And if you have a passion for the sector, a passion for what you do, I think that will really enhance what you do, but also ground it with knowledge. Have a firm knowledge base in terms of what it is you're doing. Understand the area that you're working within. Get the research, do the research, do the work, do the hard work and access the markets. Get the market facilitation and the many different entities that actually assist in, in that regard to ensure that you are farming as a business, as a successful business. Asnani, I'm glad you are here.
Next up, we're going to visit an industrious veggie farmer, Philippine Pila from Raputukwane, which is a village just outside Rastaventer. She heads up the Bahoni Agricultural Project. They produce high margin vegetable crops, which they sell to locals, clients and vendors in Soshanguve and surrounding areas. Philippine and her husband work together in supporting young people and community members from townships like Mabopane, Soshanguve, Ramutsi, I can go on and on. They encourage farming to combat food insecurity and unemployment. Everyone has their story to tell. This is theirs. The way in which I started is, is amazing because I was called by two elderly women in Soshanguve who heard about me from someone else and then they wanted me to come and see them. When I got there, they had, you know, worked the land so nicely but had nothing. And then I just felt this is the, the place where I must belong. And I said to them, from tomorrow I'm joining you. That's how I started farming. Even if you are um, doing your backyard gardens, you save a lot of money, you eat fresh veggies every day, you can even, even share. At the moment, we're selling at the Sasa outlet because we are in a village here in Raputukwani. We sell to villagers here, all the veggies, and, and people are very happy because we save them a lot of money. And otherwise, most of the things, if we have a big yield, we, we, we take our, our vegetables to Twani Market. At the moment, we, 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 we are really grateful. We do have agriculture. Agriculture is one of the companies that has shown a very serious interest in the emerging farmers by giving us seed packs. That we also go from village to village and we mobilize people even in townships, Sochanguve, Winterfeld, Mabopani. We've got Liefeld Agrochem, who always is there for us to give us the fertilizers, who will also outsource people with very, with, 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 who are skilled and have knowledge in farming and who come to the, the workshops. And those people give us information that we need. You know what, one cannot make it without other people. You know, like we South Africans, we're talking of Ubuntu, I am because you are. Um, we couldn't have come thus far. We, we, we have a tank here that was, what we, that was donated to us. We have um, uh, dripper lines that were donated to us. The, um, for us to have the, the borehole that we're using now, this was a donation from these companies. You know what, for upcoming farmers, don't compare yourself to anybody. And don't even think about what you don't have. It, where there is a will, there's a way. And I'm telling you, I'm here because of the support that I'm getting from all over. And for the upcoming farmers, I'm saying there's help. So come on board. Don't hesitate, don't look around. There is hope. Farmers is proudly brought to you by Lafeld Agrochem. Niche Farmers is proudly brought to you by Lafeld Agrochem. Welcome back. How beautiful, how powerful, how inspiring, just how exciting is this farmer we've just seen in our previous insights this morning, wouldn't you say? Most certainly. This is what drives us to continue in the sector. I mean, she embodies the change that many people only talk about. The change that we all strive to, to become part of. And what it says to me, what it reminds me of is a quote from Utata Nelson Mandela, who says, when people are determined, they can overcome anything. Mm. Certainly true here. Yes, looking at Philippines life and work and what's being achieved every day, it just makes me so full of optimism to look at the growing importance of farmers in this country, especially black farmers, despite all the obstacles they may still face. 
Certainly, but challenges are what we are there to overcome. Mm. And I believe uh, seeing what Philippine is doing, she certainly is doing so. And it is with and through different people that we actually achieve and accomplish more. Absolutely. And it seems to me that partnerships are key here, wouldn't you say, uh, Sisnoni? Most certainly, because with it, with, within our own context, we can only achieve so much. It is with other people that we are elevated beyond our own uh, thinking. Precisely. Right. You must be wondering by now, what about the competition? Well, here it is. And please make sure that you enter. In season one's final episode of Niche Farmers, we will be announcing three lucky prize winners, courtesy of our prize sponsors, Lawfield Agrochem and The Bed Shop. Ready? Here it is. The third prize, valued at over 10,000 Rand, gives you a double bed with mattress protector and a set of pillows. Plus, Lawfield Seed Packs. That's treated seeds and fertilizer, enough to produce vegetables for a family of eight for an entire year. The second prize includes a queen-sized bed set, mattress protector and set of pillows. Plus, the Lafeld Seed Packs, all valued at over 15,000 Rand. And finally, the first prize. The lucky overall winner gets a king-size bed set, mattress protector, headboard and set of pillows. The Lafeld Seed Packs plus 50,000 Rand in cash. Total value over 75,000 Rand. Before we say goodbye, here's some good news for all of you who need training on the basics of veggie production. AgriSkills is offering a powerful one-day course for 900 Rand, which includes lunch and your starter pack. But listen to this. Laafeld Agrochem will subsidize 400 Rand of the costs. That means you only pay 500 Rand. This offer is valid for the first 150 applicants. Wow. Thank you, Lafel Agrochem. And remember, once you've done the course, you will only need three five square meters of land. That's a total of 15 square meters in your own backyard to start farming. Now, this course will enable you to produce food, reduce hunger, and even create jobs and become an agripreneur. I like that word. Agripreneur. Me too, Rosa, and I really, really do. In fact, I love it. So, if you too want to become an agripreneur, make a plan to attend this hands on short course. It's only one day. And this course will be offered on the following Saturdays coming up, so take your pick. And don't worry, if you missed any of the information, it's all available on our apps, for which you simply have to SMS FARM to 32210. And we'll put it all on our Facebook page, and you can let us know how you enjoyed the course. Uh, Sis Noni, thank you so very much for joining us. Thank you very much for having me. Also, a big thank you to our farmers who take care of our country's food security. Goodbye, and please remember to go like our Facebook page. Yes, let's build the movement together, the Niche Farmers Movement. Until the next time, take good care. Take my hand, stand tall on my shoulders, I'll shine a light for you to see. Together we rise, together we touch the sky, we'll shine. Niche Farmers is proudly brought to you by Lawfeld Agrochem. Together cultivating your success.